Hey, JB, this team has played really well in the clutch, and that came out again in game one with that 13-3 run to end the game. What have you noticed about how this team has matured in those moments to give you confidence that in a playoff game you can execute the way that you did down the stretch there? Um, I think it's just uh, how we've been able to grow as a team. Uh, I remember my second year, um, even the first year, we lost a lot of close games and uh, it was because of our inexperience. And then um, kept getting older, kept getting wiser, just getting better, more together. And um, so it just translates to how we've been able to grow over these last couple of years and um, so how confident we are in, with each other. All right. Um, reminder to please announce your name and outlet as you're called upon. Uh, Callie, go ahead. with the Dallas Morning News. Um, curious, what do you remember about watching playoff games when you were younger before you got to the league? And how did that, you know, how did that equal or, or what, how does that compare with what it was like on, um, on Saturday in game one for your debut? Um, I remember watching a lot when I was younger, um, especially uh, having a dad who played in the NBA who has been to the finals. And um, he always talked about that playoff atmosphere. And um, it's, it's, it's something when you hear about the stories and then it's totally different when you experience it. Um, it's pretty special. Uh, it's a different feel, but um, I mean, you work your whole life for moments like these. So um, it was just, it's an honor to go out there and compete and um, it's not gonna take it for granted. Mike? Hey, Jalen, uh, Mike Leslie from WFAA. Yeah, for a team in your position, young team, underdog team, team on the roads for sure, to take a one nothing lead in a series like this, a lot of cliches get thrown around that you're playing with house money or that you have a free swing here in game two. How do you approach it mentally and what has kind of been the messaging from, from Rick Carlisle in terms of how to keep yourselves focused and not throw away the opportunity that you guys have tomorrow night? Yeah, we have a great opportunity tomorrow. Um, I think for us, we just got to stick to what we do. Um, do the things that helped us get here, uh, sit together, and uh, fight, keep fighting through adversity. Uh, this whole year um, on and off the court has been a lot of adversity for not just us, but I mean, everything going on. So um, we got to keep our heads, we got to uh, stick together, and, um, just trust each other and play together, most importantly, just trust each other. May we? Yeah, Jalen, when you guys went back and looked at the uh... The, the, the film of this game here. Um, what did you like about how you closed out the show those final five minutes to get the win? Um, we liked our poise, honestly. We had, we had a lot of poise. We had a um, big guys make a lot of plays. Uh, we made some mistakes at the end as well, towards the end of the game, but we, we just focused on the next play. We were able to, you know, fight through it. Like I said, fight through adversity. And I'm not focused on the negatives that we did, but just keep focused on the next play and uh, stick together. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Cooperstein, Mass Radio. Uh, Jalen, how different did a playoff game feel versus a regular season game since this was your first one? It was definitely different. Um, it was the whole feel uh, from the warm-ups to uh, lineups to the game being played and things like that. The whole feel is totally different. And um, I enjoy that. I loved every second of it. And it was something that it was, it was pretty special. I remember after the game, even yesterday, I was just thinking about how, how that first game was. Uh, I mean, win or loss. Uh, it, was, it was a memorable experience having a, being a part of that first playoff game. Not a lot of people get to do that. So um, it was honored. I was honored. But um, happy we got the win. And now that we got that out of the way, it's time to just refocus up. John? Uh, Sean Hyken, Bleach Report. Uh, Jalen, how did you feel like the increased capacity that they had for this, these playoff games has kind of affected the atmosphere? And also, you know, with you guys are, you know, you guys are going to have, a, I think, increased fans at home, you know, for games three and four. And like, how, like, how do you think kind of around the league with different cities and different teams having different levels of fans and different capacities? Like, how do you think that's going to affect home court advantage throughout the playoffs? I think it'll affect it a lot. Um, it's going to be definitely a challenge for the teams that don't have as many fans as the other teams. Uh, that could be a big factor. Um, it, it's, it's a different feel for sure. Uh, it's a different type of atmosphere. 
Um, I mean, with all that going on, once he steps inside those lines, even for me, um, I don't really recognize anything that's happening outside that, that court. Um, just go out there, just play my game, uh, listen to my teammates and coaches, and uh, figure out how to, how to learn crucial games, crucial moments. Law? Law Murray, the athletic. Uh, Jalen, you've played with Luca. Uh, this isn't obviously not your first year playing with him. Uh, what have you observed from your game when you share the floor with him compared to when you are on the floor with him on the bench? He has a lot of it's – so, it's like so much gravitational pull towards him. You know, when the, the, the ball is in his hand, even when the ball is in his hand, everything is just focused on him. He brings a lot of attention to where he is on the court, on or off the ball. Um, Playing with him is just a lot more space, obviously driving towards his way because people don't want him to catch or make plays. Um, and when he's off the court, it's just, it's different. Uh, he obviously has a, he's a lot of what we do, you know, but we have a lot of guys that are capable of making plays um, when he's off the bench, which makes us, you know, the team we are. And, um, but yeah, he has a lot of, a lot of game to him. So anything that happens, uh, it's going to open up a lot of things for himself and for others. Uh, Tomer? Hey, Jalen. Tomer is already from Clutch Points. Uh, I'm just curious. Obviously, you, you weren't able to play last year, but being able to watch from the sidelines, how much were you able to take in last season, last postseason? How much were you able to exploit that um, this postseason, having been able to watch the entire series last year? Yeah, watching last year was uh, it was tough. Um, that was my first time ever being away from the team um, and not being able to play. It was, it was, it was pretty tough for that long of a time. Um, so watching that, I really, mean, really wanted to be a part of it. Just kind of just fueled the fire to kind of get back healthy and just try and do it this year. And, um, I've been working my butt off since. And um, now that I'm here, I just can't you know, waste any moment. I go out there, just play my game, do what I can to help this team win. Um, it's a. Uh, it wasn't fun watching that from the sidelines. To be honest, with you. it wasn't fun at all. But uh, I was proud of what I watched last year. Even though we lost, I was still proud. Awesome. Thanks, Jalen.